appreciate him he is the king of kings and lord of lords he does wonders bwana yesu asifiwe anatenda maajabu na tunazidi kumwamini let us read in the book of john chapter 9 verse 1 to 5 john chapter 9 verse 1 to 5 hallelujah I thank God that you are here tonight. Tell your neighbor I thank God that you are here tonight. Hallelujah. Are you laughing in the month of laughter? Are you laughing? Praise God. Amen. A watu wa Mungu hawachekagi hivi hivi ni kumaanisha ukicheka kuna kitu mzuri umefanyikiwa nayo. Bwana asifiwe. I trust you are laughing in the love in the in the month of laughter. Praise God. Praise God. It has been declared that a miracle if there is a miracle happening tonight let it start with you. Amen. And then you will laugh. Praise God because God has given you this opportunity to laugh because he has blessed you. Amen. I hope we are all there in the book of John 9. From verse 1 to 5 let us read together in the name of Jesus Christ let us go now as Jesus passed by he saw a man who was blind from birth and his disciples asked him saying rabbi who sinned this man or his parents that he was born blind Jesus answered neither this man nor his parents sin but that the works of god should be revealed in him let us repeat that one jesus answered neither this man nor his parents sin but that the works of god should be revealed in him let's continue i must work the works of him who sent me while it is day The night is coming when no one can work. Was 5. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Amen. Let us give thanks for the word of God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for your kindness. Tonight, we want to see your work revealed in us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Let's have our seat. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. The word of God is so sweet. 
every time I open the Bible, I can tell you for sure. Kama kuna kitu ilikuwa na nisumbua, uwa ninapata ile solution pale. Praise God. Wana asifiwe. I remember we had a discussion with my friend another day. Kwa tunachambua, tunangalia mbona doctrine ziko hivi na zingine ziko hivi. Katika hiyo kuchambua, nikaelekea kwa verse fulani hapo kwa Bible. Ile ya nataka kusoma, the previous one inanionesha ukweli. Bwana asifiwe. Praise God. Bwana asifiwe. There is an element of judgment that is in the body of Christ where others are siding themselves to say they are self-righteous and there are those that God is pointing out to say he is merciful to them. Praise God. You better decide to know where you stand. Praise God. So that verse came to me and it was saying, do not judge and you shall not be judged. Praise God. So and it was just opening the Bible. Praise God. Now tonight we have opened in the book of John 9 and there is a topic there is known as the revealing of God's work. Tell your neighbor the revealing of God's work. Hallelujah. Praise God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The revealing of God's work it is pronounced by the Lord Jesus Christ that there is something he sees in you and I. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Every time Jesus would meet with someone who is being accused of sin, he used to cover. Praise God. Covering by having mercy on that person. Covering by drawing the lines. Praise God. To show that judgment belongs to, the, to him and there is a part we have to play. Praise God. Now, in the book of John, we see there is an encounter here. Jesus is just passing by. And he sees a blind man who was blind from his birth. Praise God. And the disciples are asking him a question. Rabbi, did this man sin or his parents? So that he was born this way. Praise God. Jesus replies by saying, neither him nor his parents sin. But he is in this situation so that God's works may be revealed in him. Praise God. Tonight I came to tell you that there is a revealing of God's work in your life. Praise God. Amen. Kuna watu wameenda kukuombea, they are called intercessors. They are very good at doing that work. I'm one of them. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Kuna intercessor ameenda kuuliza Mungu juu yako. Uliza, huyu vile anapitia hivi, kuna kadhambi anafanya. Siku ya leo Mungu anamujibu ya kwamba sio dhambi, lakini kuna kazi Mungu anataka kuonesha ndani yake. Praise God. Human beings have that weakness. I am one of the human beings. I might have that weakness of misinterpreting your situation. Praise God. We have a perfect example with Hannah. Hannah goes to the temple. She is pouring her heart out to the Lord to give her a child. But we have a priest known as Eli. He interprets the pouring out of the heart and the crying of Hannah as a drunkard. Praise the Lord. We are human beings. Praise God. Now, Jesus is answering on behalf of this blind man. He did not sin, neither did his parents. Hannah is explaining to Eli, my Lord, she is very respectful. My Lord, I am not drunk of wine. It is because of the heaviness in my heart. Praise God. Praise God. People may have misjudged you, but may the Lord answer them tonight. 
that is planning to do something great. And that something great is called the work of God. Praise the Lord. And the doer of that work has explained himself as long as he is in this world, he remains to be the light of the world. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, Jesus is so kind, he's so generous, he is so delegative. If you read along the Beatitudes, uh, along the Beatitudes, we are told we are the light of the world, we are the salt of the earth, right? Praise God. So as Jesus Christ is doing this work, he is also passing the mantle. Praise God. And he is saying, so long as, so long as it is daytime, this work must continue. And he says, there is someone who sent him. Praise God. He must do the work of him who sent him. Praise the Lord. Let us do the work of him who has sent us. Praise the Lord. If we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, we are going to speak in situations that were termed otherwise by other people, by non-believers. Praise God. I can tell you, my sister, I can understand you at some point, but out there, Majirani can say otherwise about you. Praise God. If Jesus shows me the greatness in you, I'll be doing the work of God. Praise the Lord. But if my work is to judge people, then I'll be doing my own work. Praise God. He's saying, I am doing the work of he who sent me. And in the situation of the blind man, this is so and so. He is not in sin, neither his parents sin because of, for him to become blind, for him to be born blind, but for the work of God to be revealed in him. Praise the Lord. I came to tell you tonight, men do have opinion about you, but they should not draw a full stop in your life. Amen. Watasema, 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 wanaekaga koma. Hawajaeka full stop. Ndiyo mana tunasema, who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Praise the Lord. The questioning about this blind man, Jesus has the final say. He's saying, for God's work to be revealed in him. Praise the Lord. Tonight, are you prepared for God to reveal his work in you? Are you prepared? Praise God. Number one, stop doubting yourself. Praise God. Number two, stop counting on others' opinion. You don't believe you are beautiful until others tell you you are beautiful. No way. Praise God. Praise God. And the Bible tells you clearly, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Praise the Lord. Si ukisoma hiyo neno unasikia it may reveal the greatness of the God's work in you. Praise the Lord. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Manake kazi ya Mungu ile anaifanya ni perfect. That's why you're fearfully and wonderfully made. Number 3. Count on God's approval. Amen. Praise God. For God's work to be revealed in you, you must rely on what, what have I said? Number one. Stop doubting yourself. Amen. Number two. Stop counting on others' opinions. Praise the Lord. Number three, count on God's approval. Praise the Lord. For God's work to start being observed in your life, there is something you must do. 
And this is to obey God. Amen. Praise God. Can you help me with verses 6 kindly? There is something you must do. And that is obeying God. Amen. It says, John 9 verse 6 says, When he had said these things, he spat on the ground and made clay with the saliva. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. Continue. And he said to him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is translated sent. So he went and washed and came back seeing. Praise the Lord. Sishida imeondolewa. Amen. So when you do what God is commanding you to do, if he sends you, just go. Tell your neighbor, just go. Amen. This blind man just went. He did not argue. Those are the arguments we have when we are doubting, when we are reluctant to obey. Praise the Lord. Just go. The place that blind man went, in the pool of Sloam, it is translated sent. Praise the Lord. Tonight, the Lord may be sending you somewhere to receive your miracle, to receive your breakthrough. Praise God. Praise God. This might be the pool. This word of God might be the pool that you are being sent to tonight. One as if you. On Sunday, we received a message that Kama Yesu aliponya huyu kipofu kwa kumtuma aende auge na maji. Mwingine alimwambia according to your faith. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Mwingine akaguzwa, akaulizwa. Can you see? Nasema hapana, naona watu kama miti. So, and my pastor on the other day akakuwa ananiambia huo kipofu ni kama alikuwa mjanja sana. Alijua watu waje. Akawaona kama miti. Nikapata ufunuo ingine kupitia awandada kasema Ule kipofu kitu walikuwa najua kwa maisha yake ni muti Kwa hivo, alijua muti na kaaji Tuseme Wana sifiwe Kwa hivo, hiyo ndio tu aliambia yesu Naona watu kama mi Kama miti So, that pool of siloam which, is, which means scent Tonight It can be elsewhere According to your situation Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Ndio nikasema maybe that pool is in here. The Lord might send you to know his word. That's why in the current of rebuilding the apostolic foundation. Praise God. Bwana asifiwe. Uliokoka you are saved 10 years ago and to date you still say ni kama mtu ameniroga, ni kama mtu amenifunga, ni kama mtu you have to change that by accepting to be sent in this pool. Discover the truth and let the truth set you free. You will come back seeing. Utakuja ukiona. Wana sifiwe. Upofu wa kiroho ni mbaya kuliko upofu wa kimwili. Wana sifiwe. Praise the Lord. If we continue with this story, you see how it ends. Jesus declares a judgment between the Pharisees and the guy. He said, I came so that the blind may see and those who claim they can see they may become blind. Praise the Lord. Turuhusu neno la Mungu litufungue macho. Tukitumwa na muhubiri tuambie soma neno wacha kudanganywa na manabii. Utapokea muujiza wako utarudi hapa ukiwa na ushuhuda ya kuona uzuri wa Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. Praise God. We are on the revealing of God's work. Hallelujah. Praise God. The point I gave you is accept to be sent. 
Is it a prayer that has been declared? You go for a prayer. If the man of God has been instructed to give you that instruction, just obey. You will come back seeing. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Tonight I came to tell someone in God's view the way you are does not mean you are in error. Praise God. Bwana sifiwe. You may be a musician. Others out there they are making millions of money. Praise God. Praise the Lord. They are making millions of money. But you are wondering, what did I do? I'm still loco loco, I'm still here. God's work is about to be revealed in you. Amen. In God's view, you are not in error. Your situation does not legalize condemnation, but it is meant to prove a point in part of his work being revealed. Praise God. Amen. Mungu anagojea mtu waulize swali kukuhusu. Mungu anagojea watu wa kuchekelee ataanza kuwachekelea. Praise God. Vengeance belongs to God. That's what he says according to his word. Vengeance belongs to him. So, when you are looking for men's approval what they will say concerning you or concerning your progress in life, you'll be missing the mark. Just allow God's approval. He is saying you are still on track. He is about to show his work in you. Amen. Praise God. Can you tell your neighbor you are still on track? In God's view, his work is going to be revealed in your life. Amen. God sees value in you. That's what you should always remind yourself. God sees greatness in you. Praise God. Even if you seem so low, God sees greatness in you. Another example of men's opinion. There is this short man called Zacchaeus. He just is excited to hear that Jesus is passing nearby. And to his curiosity he climbs a tree but Jesus looks up and tells him today is your day praise the Lord men start criticizing when point those are men's opinion praise God Zacchaeus he stands and say, if I have wronged anybody, or I have taken, he was a tax collector. If I have grabbed someone's property, I am willing to return even four times. Praise the Lord. In God's view, Jesus sees Zacchaeus as a repentant person. Bwana Kuna mtu akikutana na Yesu tutabia tule tule tuingine tuingine tunakaa hivi hivi twamtaa Kwa ajili ya Yesu kuwa maishani mwake anatangaza nimeacha kama nilikuwa naye Bwana Yesu asifiwe Suppose Jesus would say that's a tax collector acha endelee kupanda kwa mti Atavuna anachokipanda hapo juu <laughs> Praise the Lord but Jesus saw greatness in Zacchaeus. Out till today, kama we ni mfupi kama Zacchaeus, kuna matumaini. Ukipanda mti, Yesu atakuita. Amen. Kiroho, spiritually, unajiona wewe ni mbilikimo. Haufiki, unajaribu kupanda, unajaribu kuruka, uonekane, to be noticed. But God is going to call on you. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. God sees greatness in you. God is willing to use you as an example of his 
revealed work amen this blind man they had no appointment with Jesus he did not tell Jesus i want to be healed when can i come Jesus never told him to meet him somewhere it was just a by the way tell your neighbor a by the way praise the lord it might be a by the way you came to tonight's service it might be a by the way you chose to tune in to be attitudes ministries international but i'm declaring tonight may jesus just see you may jesus see your heart may the lord see your heart amen may the lord see that need that you have praise the lord even before you speak it may he see it praise the lord jesus sees a blind man and then the disciples ask a question he answers them and demonstrates his work praise the lord mwenye ana swali kukuhusu leo mwenye ana swali ali asubui i don't know i don't know this word landlord ameamuka akafunga nyumba hii maombi huyu anaombaga inafikaga binguni kweli akaloka tonight may the lord demonstrate something amen may he demonstrate his work in you amen praise the lord i am a testimony ushuhuda za kulipa rent nimekuwa nazo mingi so what i'm telling you i'm sure if you have a need it's called financial need i have seen god working wonders <laughs> praise the lord don't doubt it can be in your health situation na vile anaombaga mungu bwana aezi mponya bwana aezi hiyo swali wakiuliza tu hivi omba mungu ajibu wanaopanga kikao kukusengenya kiangalia vile angalia vile kameisha na kanaendaga church kana kuanga kwa maombi ya kila Mungu awajibu kwa ku demonstrate Amen Praise the Lord A by the way he is a by he is coming by the way Praise the Lord Jesus is determined to do the work of him who sent him in this context He set an example for us. If he said if we believe we shall lay hands on the sick. Praise the Lord. He did not say if we believe we shall become judges. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Kwa hivyo, zeno unasikiza situation ya mtu anasema, "Eh, hii Mungu anaweza ponya kweli, unakaa umekosea ma. Hapana. Praise the Lord. There is a prescription for praying for the sick. Amen. Naambiwa mmoja wenu akiwa mgonjwa na wazee waende wamwekele mikono. Wakimpaka mafuta. Ingawa alikuwa na dhambi pia zita na atapona. Bwana asifiwe. This is a prescription. But are you ready to be sent here? Praise God. Kubali kutumwa kwa neno la Mungu kama ni kuogelea ogelea. If like yesterday, yesterday night we were in another world, WhatsApp, Facebook. They stopped. How many were worried? To me, to me I can say it's a testimony. The Lord saved me from a day, very very bad trap. Praise the Lord. There is a someone who added me into a, a just a group. They say it's a friends group. Then they add any type of a person. Praise the Lord. And then there were pavats there who sent pornographic materials just imagine what damage it can cause to a preacher like me if i entertained it so the moment i discovered there is an welcome guest in my phone 
I deleted. The time I wanted to exit, I was not able to exit. I cleared all the, 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 the information that was being displayed on that page. I want to exit, exit, exit. And then I was unable. And then I said to myself, this thing, ingenirudia tena kusema, ebu ni chungulie sasa nione, ni nini hizi? Praise God. You know the devil is very cunning. Praise God. So, I, I, I know, as long as I am strong, the enemy is also clever. Praise the Lord. Kwa hivyo, kama dunia mzima ilisimamisha WhatsApp jana, muliokoa mtu hapa. Bwana asifiwe. So, on that note, it's not part of the message, but I'm telling you, are you addicted to WhatsApp? Are you addicted to this social media? And you don't have time for this word. You might end up in temptations. Praise God. I had a choice to say, let me open this. But I also made another choice saying, this is a trap. Tomorrow I will not be able to preach if I happen to view this thing. It's an spoil mind. Praise God. This word of God gives us a choice of good and evil. Choose to be sent, understand the word of God, and let the work of God be revealed in you. Praise the Lord. One as if you be prepared, there is work to be done. Praise God. Let me finish by saying. When God's work is revealed in you, you will be full of real testimonies which point people to God. Praise God. After accepting to be sent, this blind man came back seeing. And I can tell you, if you go home and read the entire chapter, you see what the, how the events unfolded. The, the, this, this guy, I'm not calling him blind anymore because he's seeing. Praise the Lord. So this brother, he came at home, back home, and the neighbors are concerned. Oh, this looks like the guy who sits there and begs around and is blind. But now he can see. Others said it is like him. But he was able to answer. Praise the Lord. It is now his time to answer. I am he. Amen. He told them, I am he. The neighbors, they did not believe yet. They took him to the Pharisees to explain how these things happen. So he first gives an account. Uh, a man called Jesus sent me to his, his part on the ground and uh, applied the mud on the, on the eyes and then he sent me to Siloam to wash. And I washed and I see. Praise the Lord. He gave an account of what ha happened, had happened. Then he went with them. They took him. They had no good motives. Praise the Lord. While he was exposed, because it is a Sabbath day. I'm telling you, there are some neighbors, they are not happy with you, with your progress. Amen. They are actually happy with the way Unakaanga. If he hid. But ata ukiwaelezea Hawatosheki wanataka kukuanika Amen So they were taking him To answer how The miracle happened When he explained it again They did not believe him They said bring his parents The parents acknowledged Yes he was blind But now he can see And how he sees Ask him by what means he is of age. Praise God. Hili neno tukilisoma, tukubali kutumwa, tukilisoma litufungue macho, hata kutetea imani yetu, tutakuwa na nguvu ya kusimama. Kwa maana tunaona. Praise the Lord. If you can see, then God will help you. Wherever you stand, you'll be able to explain what happened. Praise the Lord. So if God's work 
is revealed in you, you will be a man full of real testimonies. Praise the Lord. Kwa hiyo ushuhuda huyu ndugu anapeana haina chumvi, haina haijaongezwa kachumbari. Amen. Praise the Lord. Kinaga ubaga waziwazi vile tu ilikuwa. Anasema hivyo. But he said a man called Jesus. Does your testimony point people to God? That testimony has to point people to God. A man called Jesus. There's someone called Jesus who has made me to see this day. Someone called Jesus. He paid for my sins. Hey! Praise the Lord. Aliye ni okowa ni bwana Yesu ninamjua Aliye mwamba Aliye ni okowa ni bwana Yesu tusimame kwa miguu yetu Ninamjua Aliye mwamba Aliye ni okowa Aliye ni Ninamjua Aliye mwamba Aliye ni okowa Aliye ni okowa Ni bwana Yesu namujua namujua Aliye mwamba Aliye ni okowa Aliye ni okowa Ni bwana Yesu I am praying tonight that the Lord will give you a real testimony after seeing his work revealed in you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. May you have a testimony. Even if they ask you questions and they want to confirm again and again, you will have a stand. Praise the Lord. This blind man stood to a, to a point that the Pharisees were telling him, thank God because this man is a sinner. And he said, I don't know whether he's a sinner or not. What I know, I was blind, but now I can see. When we focus on the word of God, we will just say we can see. Praise God. You will not question the voice of God. You will not question the existence of God or the power of God. Hautakuwa kupima pima Mungu kusema anaweza hii hawezi hii we umekuwa nani we ndio ulimuumba Wanasifiwe Praise God This blind man explains to them and he tells them if this man was not sent by God then a true worshipper and a man who is obedient to God just give me John 9:31 John 9:31 Go 30, 30. Let's go 30. The man answered and said to them, Why is this marvelous thing that you do not know where he is from? Yet he has opened my eyes. Nina mjua aliye mwamba aliye ni okoa. Bwana iso sifiwe. Unasema aje si mwana wa mungu na ameni pea nguvu ya kuishi umbali huu amenifanya mimi kuhubiri hapa unasema aje siye mwana wa Mungu ame establish PMI unasema aje siye mwana wa Mungu na amebadilisha hali za maisha yangu praise the lord this condition of being born blind that one that you want? Now we know that God does not hear sinners. But if anyone is a worshipper of God and does his will, he hears him. Continue. Since the world began, it has been unheard of, of that anyone opened the eyes of one who was born blind. Praise the Lord. The revealed work of God has a trace. Praise God. If you read in the book of Exodus 8, 19, there was a competition of what God did and what the magicians 
were tending to do. But it came to a level. God did something that they could never do. They were not able to do. And the magicians said to Pharaoh, this is the finger of God. Hmm, hallelujah. I just stop at there. Wanna see few? If you focus on worship, you'll be able to discern God's work. Praise God. You'll be able to answer those who have questions concerning what has happened to you. Praise God. Get deep in worship. Accept to be sent. And may you see God's work being revealed in your life. I want to welcome Dad to continue. God bless you. Nina Mujua Ali Mamba Ali Ni Okoa Ibuana Yesuni Namujua Nina Mujua Come on Ali Mamba Ali Ni Okoa Ibuana Yesu Nina Mujua Ali Mamba Ali ataifunua kwa sababu ya vitu fulani ambavyo watu hawakutarajia ya kwamba tuko tunatembea ndani yavyo katika mapenzi ya Mungu. Sikiza. I want to be clear so that you may understand what you are praying. Whatever your enemies chochote kenye watu wako wenye wanakuzunguka, wako wanakujudge nakyo. They have facts. I say they have facts. Whatever they are saying is true. Kama ni kusema uko broke is true. Kama ni kusema mambo haiko sawa it is true. They have fact out of what they are saying. Kama ni kusema moja mbili tatu whatever they are saying is true. But the context they are using is wrong. They believe you are wrong you are going through whatever you are going through because God has left you. I have news for you that they will be proven wrong tonight. You are not going through what you are going through because God has left you. But because the work of God is about to be revealed. Nasema haupiti unayo ipitia kwa sababu mungu wamekuwacha. Lakini kwa sababu kasi yake inataka kufunuliwa kwako. Walipo muambia ayubu ya kwamba toka mwanzo ya dunia mpaka saa hizi hakuna aliyekuwa na haki ambaye amepitia kile unapitia ni kweli walipomwambia ayubu ya kwamba hii inaonekana ya kwamba mtu afanyapo zambi ndio wakati Mungu muacha ni kweli walipomwambia ayubu yote waliyomwambia ilikuwa kweli lakini kitu moja ambao haikuwa kweli ni kwamba context ya ayubu haikuwa vile waliifikiria Mungu alikuwa amejua ya kwamba siku moja watapiga magoti mbele ya ayubu ili kwamba kazi ya Mungu ijulikane 
Sijui ni nini ambao unaipitia ambao adui zako na akili zako ziko zinakuambia yawezekana Mungu amekuacha ndio kwa maana unaipitia usiku wa leo nimekuja kukuambia Mungu haja kuacha mbingu zingali na wewe ni mpango wa kazi ya Mungu inaenda kutimilika na kitakachofanya itimilike sio maombi yako ataboska ya nasema sio maombi yako lakini ni mdomo ya wale wanao kuangalia wale wanao ongea ongea wale wanao piga piga mdomo ndio wanaenda fanya kazi ya Mungu itimilike kwako kwa watu wote Yesu aliwahi kuponya mmoja ambaye hakuwahi kuomba uponyaji ni huyu ndugu huyu ndugu hakuwahi kuambia Yesu mimi ni kipofu niponye ama Yesu akuwahi kumuuliza unataka nikuponye hapana mdomo ya watu waliokuwa wamemzunguka ndio ilifanya huyu ndugu anapata muujiza mdomo ya watu waliokuwa wanaongea nasema mdomo ya watu waliokuwa wanaongea hata wenyewe wanaongea vibaya juu yako leo wasukume muujiza yako leo hata wenyewe wanaongea vibaya juu yako wao ndio watafanya upate muujiza wako huyu ndugu hakuwa amejua kama kuna Yesu karibu yake lakini mdomo ya mitume eti Yesu ni huyu alifanyaga dhambi ama ni baba yake ama mama yake naomba usiku wa leo swali zao zisukume Mungu kukufanyia swali zao maswali yao isukume Mungu kukufanyia hizo swali za mitomo ya kukuteta zifanyishe muujiza wako ambao haujaombea ifanyike usiku wa leo oh oh wameongea ya kutosha wamejaza vivarua vya kutosha wamepanga maneno kwa mdomo ya kutosha leo usiku wa leo kila watakacho kiongea kinyume chako kisukume Mungu kukufanyia muujiza kila watakacho kiongea juu yako kisukume Mungu kukutendea muujiza kila watakacho kiongea juu ya familia yako kisukume Mungu kuajiria malaika walinzi ambao watakuja kuweka kampu kwako Arabuska yanta riduska bakada raba baba 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 ino mikono yako sema e bwana Yesu usiku wa leo niko tayari kuona kazi yako ikitimilika kwangu yote wanaoyaongea kinyume changu acha uyatumie kutimiza kazi yako ndani ya maisha yangu kuna kazi umeniandalia kuitimiza usiku wa leo ninapoweka makofi haya pamoja natangaza kazi ya Mungu itazirika itazirika there will be a revealing power of the work of God in my life there will be a revealing power of the work of God in my life there will be a revealing power of the work of God in my life in the name of Jesus 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 Christ glory 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 kuna watu ambao kazi yao kukuongelea vibaya mbele ya wenye wanafaa kukupea kazi kazi yao kukuongelea vibaya mbele ya wakuu wa kazi na tangaza baada ya hii ibada midomo yao ikupe promotion midomo yao ikufanya uitwe vizuri midomo yao ifungue milango iliyokuwa imefungwa watakapoongea mabaya wakubwa wakukumbuke wakutendee unayohitaji na tangaza midomo yao itumiwe kwa njia ya wewe kufika mahali ya fika kwa jina la Yesu acha kazi ya Mungu ndani ya maisha yako itimilike usiku wa leo kwa jina la Yesu rikarabara baba shakara baba ribantara baba bashanda ribarabara bashanda rabayanda glory 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 nataka tu nikuombe kitu moja kuna Mungu anataka kukuheshimisha kwa hivyo kile utakachokikutana kwa njia kiwe kinakaa kigumu namna gani jua ya kwamba Mungu anataka kutimiza kazi yake mahali 
Ah, nasema jua Mungu anataka kutimiza kazi yake mahali. Ukikutana na mgonjwa, jua ya kwamba vipawa vya uponyaji, Mungu anataka kuanza kuvitumikisha ndani yako. Ukikutana na walio na shida, jua ya kwamba vipawa vya miujiza, Bwana anataka aanza kuvitumikisha ndani yako. Maana yake kila utakachokutana nacho, jua ya kwamba ni njia ya Mungu kutaka kuanza kazi na wewe. Listen. Mahali nimezaliwa hapa naitwa mlengeza kwetu nyumbani kwetu kwa kitambo na chini ya nyumba yetu our ne- immediate neighbor mke wake akapata mtoto na mke wake alipopata mtoto walikuwa wamepanga kwa compound moja familia tatu na hizo familia tatu wakawa wanakuaga wanaishi pale na huyo mama alipopata mtoto wakagundua sijui mama ujua namna gani baada ya miezi kidogo wakagundua ya kwamba huyu mtoto alizaliwa macho yake hayafunguki aoni wakajaribu kufuatilia lakini hawakuwa na suluhisho na Mungu alikuwa amemwambia mama yangu mzazi ya kwamba anataka kumpatia kazi ya kusaidia wa mama wale new married women awafunze kwa mtaa lakini akajiuliza how can i do that hiyo kazi si, si nitawafunza namna gani mimi ni mwalimu kanisani lakini sasa kwa mtaa nitawafunza namna gani na mama siku moja anatoka mali anatoka shughuli zake za kanisa akiwa anataka kuingia kwa nyumba akasikia sauti ndani ya roho yake ya kwamba toka huyu mama anapata mtoto hujawahi kuingia kuona mtoto kwa hivyo kitu ikaingia kwa moyo wake akaingia aone mtoto na alipofika kwenda kuona mtoto akakuta mtoto amelala akaambia hiyo mama nimekuja kuona mtoto juu ya heshima yake huyo mama kanyangua mtoto akamletea alipomletea Huyo mama akamleta na akili akasema mimi Mungu alinipeaga mtoto lakini imeonekana ni kipofu ni kipofu basi mama nongo akashika mtoto kwa mikono alafu sauti ikamwambia ndani yake itisha huyo mama beseni yenyewe huwa anaoshea ndani mtoto na umwambia kuletee maji ambao ni lukwa sio moto na sio baridi akamletea alafu niletee hiyo nguo huo napanguza nao mtoto huo naosha nao mtoto akamletea mama kajiuliza hii ni nini inaendelea sijui ni nini inaendelea lakini sauti kamwambia weka hiyo nguo kwa maji baada ya kuiweka kamua hiyo nguo alafu upanguze mtoto uso akaweka nguo kwa maji akakamua alafu akapanguza mtoto uso akisema kwa jina la Yesu alipopitisha nguo hiyo kwa uso mara moja mtoto akafungua macho na mtoto akafungua macho papo hapo mtoto alipofungua macho mama ya mtoto akashout na akakimbia akakimbia nje akiita wenzake mkute muone mtoto wangu ameona mkute muone mtoto wangu ameona mkute muone mtoto wangu ameona wenzake wakata na kimbia walipokuja na kimbia mama na niambia nilikuwa nasikia ni kama nitupe mtoto na mimi nikimbie kwa sababu sijui ni nini inaendelea na kuhakikishia kutoka siku hiyo wa mama walikuwa wanapika foleni nje kwa msingi wakingojea mama aamuke awahudumie moja baada ya mwingine uwe mjamzito uwe hauko mjamzito wanapika foleni tunakuja utuhudumie wanatuma watoto wao jioni waombewe waende walale huduma aliyoiambiwa na Mungu ikaanza kazi ya Mungu ikajitimiza kwa sababu ikiwa ni kazi ya Mungu ina njia ya kujitimiza usione uzito mbele yako us- sione magumu mbele yako jiulize ni nini inayojificha nyuma ya magumu ninayoyaona jiulize Mungu anataka kufanya nini nyuma ya haya yanayoendelea usiku wa leo kwa jina la Yesu ninaomba kila mlima ulio mbele yako uje ukufanye kazi ya Mungu itimilike kwako nasema ukufanye kazi ya Mungu itimilike kwako itajulikanaje ya kwamba una imani ya kungoa milima ikiwa kuna mlima umeondoka na imani yako naomba usiku wa leo nguvu za Mungu zilizo juu yako sianze kungoa milima 
Sianze kungoa milima wagonjwa wapone wenye shida wafunguliwe wenye mahitaji wapate suluhisho naomba usiku wa leo Bwana ajizirishe kwako naomba usiku wa leo kazi ya Mungu itimilike kwako naomba usiku wa leo kazi ya Mungu itimilike kwako naomba usiku wa leo ijulikane kuna Mungu unayemtumikia naomba usiku wa leo ujulikane kuna Mungu mbinguni naomba usiku wa leo Jehova ajitukuze kwako tunakushangilia Bwana tunakushangilia Mungu tunakushangilia Jehova tunakushangilia Adonai tunakushangilia Mungu asante kwa sababu ndani yetu kazi yako itatimilika na kazi yako itajizihirisha tunakupenda na tunakushukuru kwa neno lako la usiku wa leo kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba na kuamini Amen Come on somebody celebrate the word of God Minister Kubai may the Lord bless you That message was mine was ours we have revealed we have received and we will reveal the work of God I say we reveal the work of God I say we reveal the work of God Imefika mahali ambapo tutasema kama mnamuita mwenye dhambi mimi sijui ninajua kitu moja nilikuwa mwenye dhambi na nimeokoka nilikuwa broke niko sawa nilikuwa sina maisha sasa ninaishi ah acha Mungu azirike kwako amen amen god bless you take your offering we give as we leave this place tonight Lord we proclaim your name of your mighty power and awesome majesty Lord come upon us now and release your
May the Lord sustain you. Amen. I pray that the Lord's face will shine upon you. Amen. May the smile of his face follow you wherever you will go. May angels be deployed upon you, upon your path. Whatever you will touch will prosper. I pray that this week will bring favor. And this week will be a week of acceptance. Whatever the enemy was stopping, let the work of God be revealed and let the power of God be seen. Those hands will touch the sick and they shall recover. Those who are dying will come back to life. Yes. Those who have lost hope will gain back strength and hope. I declare may the Lord cause you to enjoy this night and tomorrow may you find yourself doing wonders in the vineyard of God. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord surprise you. Anyone who expected your downfall, let them find you on the top. I say anyone who expected your downfall, let them find you on the top. Anyone who expected that you will close doors, let them find you expanding. Let them finding you thriving. Let them finding you growing. Let them finding you shining in the name of Jesus. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. As you go home, may the power of God be upon you. May the glory of God be upon you. May this week be a week of testimonies. May the power of God follow you. Wherever you will stand, may the glory of God be upon you. I speak to every disappointment. Let you hear and hear clear. This is a time of appointment. For every disappointment, there will be an appointment. In the name of Jesus. Let God's power be upon you. And let his hand walk upon your life. Mightily. Let your enemies confess with their mouth that now this is the finger of God. Let them confess with their mouth that for sure this now is the finger of God. Let them confess like the magicians of Pharaoh that this now is the finger of God. Father, wherever we confess today negative words, we repent. We turn them down and we declare our God is at work. And his work will be revealed in our lives. No matter the situations, the work of God will be revealed in our lives. We are not where we are because we have sinned, but because the glory of God is about to be revealed in our lives. We receive your word. We thank you and we bless you. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen, 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 amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Release your power and let your prayers flow. Release your power.
We need you more. We need to see more of your powers in every area of our lives. For that is the reason why Jesus came. So that he may destroy the work of Satan and establish the work of God. That is the reason why Jesus came. So he may destroy the work of Satan and establish the work of the one who sent him. We need you more and more. More than ever before. In Jesus name.